Right, hello guys and welcome to Edge Farm. This farm is set we're in Devon and uh, I was um, basically I found this map on um, King Mods. I was just trawling the uh, mod site just to see what there was and I come across this farm. And it's Edge Farm and it's set in Devon. <coughs> now I've played this map before but I didn't really give it a fair crack of the whip because I thought it felt unfinished. Um, I don't know why I just got that impression it just felt unfinished. But um, I'm going to have another crack at it and see what it, uh, see how far we get and what problems we encounter. So at the moment um, I've already been uh, at it for about three hours now and uh, we've got some cows there and that's about it really. I've just been working hard getting cow feed and sorting cows out and stuff. <coughs> oh, excuse me, give me a second. Oh, I'm choking myself now, I don't know where that got from. Whoa. Let me have a swig of tea. Yeah, so, um, yeah, basically just been on it for about three hours now, just doing, um, getting cows, getting the money to get cows. Um, I own, um, I have bought, obviously, the main farm, which is that there. Uh, field 30, which is the cow pasture. Obviously, we can't do nothing with that now because I've got cows in it. Also, this map does have the grazing mod as well built in. Um, field 34 and field 36, which I've just purchased with the sale of um, silage. So basically, what I'm doing now is I'm just getting some silage together um, for cow feed, really, pretty much. And the other field um, over there in the distance, it's not quite ready yet. Not where the cows are, but over the other side there to my left is going to be um, cut and bailed for hay. Because at the moment I'm just feeding the cows, um, doing silage and hay TMR. <coughs> because I don't have any straw for the bedding, I'm having to buy the straw in because I don't have a field where we can put anything in that's going to produce straw yet which I am working on at this precise moment. I'm hoping there's going to be enough silage to sell and uh, some for the feed. So, um, yeah, I haven't really got a plan of what I want to do on this map yet. I'm just sort of winging it. Um, I thought I'd stop down here somewhere, obviously not. Yeah, so I'm just winging it at the moment. I don't really know what I'm going to do, uh, where we're going to go and... Um, how this map's going to, how I'm going to expand the series, you know. But hopefully once um, I get started and then I might get some sort of plan in my head of what I'm going to do. Obviously I want more cows, we've only got 30 cows at the moment. Um, I want to get more tractors obviously, harvester which we haven't got yet. And uh, go from there really. This tractor I'm using at the moment is the Massey um, 6, uh, is it 6M? Check 6S, sorry, Massey Ferguson 6S, and it's 180 horsepower. It's on the small section because they've done several, <coughs> they've done two versions of the same tractor one for the small range and then one for the medium range um, categories. So at the moment, I've got the small range, which is the 180. So, um, yeah, and I'm just picking up some. Uh, grass for silage um, with the forage wagon. Um, there is a couple of fields I've got in mind next that I want. But um, I'll have to see what pans out. One of them's got sorghum in it, I did have. I think that's field... Field 41, I think it's got sorghum in it. But that's one of the fields I might aim for next. Once I've sold some silage, we do have some silage bales there that I've made, which should keep us going for uh, TMR for a little while. But yeah, now I've sorted my problems that I was having out. I'm hoping to get some episodes out 
Right, I'm just waiting for the update to drop for um, Valley of the Old Farm, and then I'll be back on that. Because, um, as I've said before, I've got to do a fresh game save once the update's dropped. So um, I've sort of put that on hold for the moment. But we'll go back to that without a doubt. But I was just having a look around to see what I could find in the way of British maps. I have started doing some messing about on Carmston, but I didn't really want to do a series on that because everybody did that. And I think it's kind of been done to death, if you know what I mean. So I think the same is going to happen with Court Farms as well, but I'm going to try and do episodes on that once I get up, once it um, drops. <coughs> but I've now heard a rumour that it's looking at June or July before it's released, so I've had to look around for other British maps to do in, in between. So I found this one and it was said it was in de set in Devon, so I thought, oh, you know, I'll download this and uh, give it a crack and see what uh, see what we can do with it. Like I said, I did do it before, but it just felt unfinished. It still does feel a little bit unfinished, but I think it's going to be at the point now where it's as it is. So take it or leave it. So. But anyway, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how far we get with it. See what we can do with it. Um, see if there's any problems that we encounter along the way and uh, go from there really, so yeah. I hope everybody's enjoying um, the content that I'm creating for my channel. And uh, if you are guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and uh, smash that like button as well guys, because, uh, you know, Trying to get this channel to grow. We're on 200 now, so that's a that's a that's a good um, good place to be. But I'd like to be a bit. I'd like to get more. Um, so I forgot my button. I was going to push into. I'm a bit unstubious about these bunkers because it is coming out the back of the bunker. So. See how it goes. If not, I'll put in a fermenting silo. I do like the sound of these new masses. Though. They sound really good. Even this little one. Every time we hit the brake, you can hear the turbo kicking in. that winding down, the old turbo winding down there. Um, where did I stop? I can never remember, I always forget my it's like a sieve like I always forget where I stop. <coughs> mm. No, it must have been down the bottom. Right, I'm going to progress with this fill guys, and I'll be back when I'm nearly done. So I'll see you shortly. Right, welcome back guys. We are just getting to the end of this field. Um, I've also saw, I had, I had a slurry problem. I had too much, um, the slurry in the cow bit was full basically. And uh, what I did was, let me just show you. I'll just drive around and show you quick. I've leased that wagon, which holds 500,000 litres. I can't remember where I got it from, but it holds 500,000 litres. So that's going to be our overflow tank for our slurry and I have added um, a manure heap there as well because there's no manure otherwise I'm not going to get stuck but I'm going to get stuck oh yeah I did I knew I would I knew that being a bit uh, trying to be a bit clever there oh no that didn't work out try that so yeah, hopefully we'll get manure now as well. I don't want to put grass in there because they're already getting grass from over on that field there. Because it, like I said, it's got the grazing mod which is limiting how much TMR I can give them as well. So we're saving a bit of money on TMR. That's why some of this silage will be going to be sold rather than uh, kept. Quite a lot in this bunker. 
but it is starting to seep through the walls, so I don't know if it's going to empty correctly. I'm hoping it does, but if not, I'll, like I said, I'll put in a fermenting silo and we'll do it that way. I need to move that pallet out of the way too, because that's got the uh, silage additive that we're using, so we get a bit more get a bit more um, silage for our money, grass for our money, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a five, is it five percent? Is it five percent increase or two? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a two percent increase actually. Five percent seems a bit high. I think it's a two percent increase or something like that. I, don't know. I did, did hear someone say on YouTube that it was a five percent increase but that seems a bit seems a bit strong. I think it's more like one or two percent increase. I don't know if that's each trailer load or across the whole field, you know. But it um, doesn't really matter because it just means we get a bit more. So We're going to benefit from it anyway because like I said I'm going to sell some of it. So. can sell slurry on the map as well, I've noticed there is a place to sell that, but you only get 91 quid per per tonne, or per litre, whatever, whatever that works in farm ships. I'm old school, so I work in, I work in tonnes and gallons and pounds and ounces and things like that, you know what I mean? It all depends, it all depends what you work, what the game work runs in. I think it's actually litres in farms, and I don't know. But <coughs> <coughs> I'm but yeah, I can't wait to get an arable field so we can actually get some harvesting going, get some crops, get some crops coming off the field, and getting some uh, serious money in. Mind you, milk's not doing too bad. Um, let me just show you uh, where is it milk so February we got 23,000 because that's when I bought started buying the cows in March we got 67,000 April 70, uh, 76,000 and then May because we're still in it we've got 32,000 so far so, but as fast as the cash comes in it's being spent on fields and equipment and stuff. Because when I started the map I didn't have no tractors. Ad had equipment but no tractors. There's absolutely no tractors on the map at all. Just equipment. It was like the farm was undergoing in the middle of undergoing an auction and the tractors had been auctioned off first, you know. But those mowers you see in the shed there, they're on lease. Uh, there is a couple of bits on lease actually. This trailer's on lease. The mowers are on lease. The mixer's on lease. And that uh, tanker's on lease as well. And we also have a loan as well we're paying back. And um, we have a £200,000 loan we're paying back that we got inherited with the farm. And that's being paid at f uh, £5,948 a month. So, uh, we've got to make sure that we keep enough money coming in to cover the loan cost as well as give us a bit of profit. I think I had 30 cows. Sure, I bought 30. Yeah, 30 cows I bought. So, uh, we're doing alright. We've got no way of fertilising or lime in the fields at the moment. So, uh,. We're just having them as they are. I do have precision farming running on them. Um, I've already bought the soil samples for the fields. As you can see there, if I zoom in, we've got 39% uh, on that one, um, 20 on that one, and 55 on that one. Although I noticed some of that field where the cows are is not part of the pasture. So I'm just wondering if it can be mowed. Yeah, see? See, that bit's part of the pasture. 
but they're not grazing on that section, they're just grazing on this bit over here. That seems a bit odd. Why oh, it's doing that. Because if you look, if we look into the cows, so they're getting 40% grass and then the rest is TMR. So they're getting a little bit of grass but not a lot. But I can't fill that up anymore because of the grass. So I don't know, weird that. But I suppose that's how it works with the grazing mod, I don't know. If anybody does know, feel free to leave a comment, guys. Right, I'm going to park up the tractor and then I'm going to. Um, oh, hang on, I've got to compact the. Uh, I've got to compact the bunker first, don't I? Before I do that, I was going to say I'm going to park up the tractor and speed up time and then come back when it's time to sell. Uh. Get the magic roller out. Oof. Oh, that's some big old wheels, isn't it? Let's do two ton and hope the tractor can pull them. I've used a set of wheels like this in real life to compact silage. We had some, uh, um, we had one made up for us and they had um, caterpillar um, tyres on them, you know, from the big dump trucks, the big, big wheels. And we used to use them to compact the silage. Oh dear, what happened there then? Oh. What's happened there then? Right, I'll be back guys, give me a second. Right, welcome back guys. Sorry about that, I don't know what happened there. Um, most peculiar. Um, in the end I had to uh, roll my game save back. I couldn't um, couldn't reset the tractor or nothing. It like it had disappeared. I can't explain that. That was I've never had that happen before. That's kind of odd. It was like it disappeared underneath the map or something. I don't know. But I went to um, have a look to see if I could reset the vehicle, and I couldn't. There was no tractor there. Highlighted the tractor bit took everything else off but there was nothing there no tractor there so I don't kind of, kind of know what happened there so I've had to roll the game safe back and uh, continue on from where we left off on well not from where we left off but from the um, last bit of the field but yeah the most peculiar that I've never had that happen before that's that's the first let's hope it's not a glitch with the map rather than a glitch with that mod it's the first time I've had a glitch with that mod. But when we compact again, I'll use um, something else. It 
since the last update I've had um, kind of strange things happening with the game so I think it might be the fact that some of the mods are not compatible with the new update. just get this finished off and then get back to where we were like compacting uh, just in the process of compacting the silo ready to uh, get it covered and get it fermented so shouldn't take it too long let's just clear off finish clearing off this field I like the lime <coughs> I like the lime texture on this map it's like a little white dust similar to what it is in real life. It's not quite that thick as the game portrays in real life. It's kind of light, a light dust. I do know it's terribly corrosive though, lime. I've had some spill on my skin and blimey does it hurt kind of get it washed off as quick as possible because it eats through skin it eats through metal if you leave it in there too long that's why we don't normally in real life leave the lime in the wagons it's normally emptied out emptied out and washed out ready for the next ready for the uh, fertiliser to go in Once the field is cleared and we're back to where we were, so I'll see you in a moment. Right, welcome back guys. I've successfully got the pit um, compacted and covered. And um, I've sped up time now so that silage is ready. Um, what I'm just doing is just doing a mix for the um, cows. We have got to buy in some more silage, um, not silage bales. Straw bales because we're out, nearly out of bedding. So we're just going to do that now. We should sort, sort our cows out, get them fed, get them bedded down. And then we'll crack on with what else we've got to do today in this episode. Oh, what's that? What's that? I forgot the fork for so it's half, because um, I'm doing a hay and silage mix, it's um, half hay and the silage. As you can see, I've made some more money from the milk sales. Um, I'll give you a... Uh, yeah, May we made full. Uh, sorry, May we made thirty-two thousand. June was forty-four thousand, and then July was forty-nine thousand. So we are making a good return on the milk. However, I've lost two two cows, so I've got to replace them because I didn't have the feed done in time. And it does look like I've got to do some more hay bales as well because this is the last of the hay bales. Save that for another episode when we're out in the field doing the haying. That's also given time for these silage bales to ferment as well.
didn't realise this map had the grazing mod actually. So I think it came out before the grazing mod, so it must have had an update or something. percent <clears throat> these are the smaller bales what I might do next time actually is make bigger bales might not need so many then two more and we'll have a mix Before I carry on with that, I just want to check on prices of fields, the field that I want next. The field I want next is 41 and it is 161,000. Let's jump into our messy. <coughs> As you can see, we have got some manure to sort out at some point. So, that's a lot. That's all it's going to let me put in, because obviously they've got the grazing mod as well, so that counteracts for some of it. Right, I've got that off. Grab the other one for the uh, straw. This is my straw blowing machine. This one. At least this one instead of getting a proper straw blower. Right, let's just buy some bales. It's a bit costly doing it this way, but at the moment I don't have any arable fields, so it's a case of having to buy them in. Ten grand a time. Once I can get the money to buy that sorghum field, we'll have straw from that because I have the mod that gives you sorghum straw. It's soybean, sorghum and corn as well. two cows back that we've just lost. Uh, that one, aren't they? Heifers, female. No, it's not that one. Back, it's that one. Oh, no, we've got 60. We've got two. That's it, that put us back on 30 again. Wait for that to empty out. And then I need to get a bucket for the Merlot so that we can do some mucking out. It is a real shame that it doesn't spawn it in the shed so you can muck out properly then. But we'll have to make do with that bit.
Gotta get some more straw. I do have relight back in and it seems to be uh, functioning okay with relight back in. <coughs> I did have easy um, I did have um, what was I gonna say I was gonna say gonna say it then I forgot. Uh, I did have problems with it um, lagging before but I've uninstalled some things and it seems to be alright at the moment. When I was getting all those other problems. I uninstalled some stuff and there doesn't seem to be any issues apart from that one where it kind of disappeared into nowhere. I don't quite know. I knew that was going to do that, didn't I? I knew that was going to do that. doesn't take a lot, this, uh, this little wagon. Took me a while to find a straw trigger in this shit. Kept driving to and fro, to and fro, to and fro, couldn't find it. And then all of a sudden it just pinged up. And I thought, ah, oh, there you are. And now I know where it is. I first thought there wasn't a trigger for straw, and I thought, ah, oh, whoops, I don't. Oh well. So much for that map, chuck it in the bin. But no, it's, it does seem to be here, so. Seems to be functioning all right. We're making money out of some milk, so obviously it's all right. Um, when's the best time to sell soilage? Uh, soilage is going to be January, but when we do sell it, we get two hundred and four thousand, which would be enough to buy that field. You know, I might skip time through to January. I think. Straw, how much more straw do these need? Oh, not a lot more then. Not a couple of hours should do it, hopefully. Got my fan, that's warm tonight. Down here on the south coast, it's quite warm. What about the rest of you when they're experiencing that? Uh, Warmer temperatures, but it's nice. I must admit, winter's gone on for rather a long time this year. I thought we were never going to get some warm weather coming in. Right, I think. I'm going to feed this straw to the cows and then I think I'm going to call it an episode, guys. Because I've got a funny feeling I've gone over time. I might not have done, but it feels like it. And then when we come back, in the next episode, we'll be um, <coughs> selling silage, uh, mucking out the cows, hopefully, and hopefully buying a new field. Crack on with some arable work then. Because at the moment, a lot of my work is focusing around cows. I've got some spare straw now, so that's good. is I'll shut that gate so they don't escape into the farm area. <coughs> I'm just wondering if I could sit those two um, straw bales in there so they're out of the way.
start it. Jump back into a very dirty mess, eh? He's up and down. Right, I'm going to call it an episode there, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this first episode on uh, Edge Farm. We did have a little bit of a little bit of an issue, but it doesn't seem to be an ongoing problem so uh, hopefully I know what I am going to do though. I'm just going to nip round and attach it to that uh, slurry wagon and just empty out empty out the uh, slurry tank but yeah um, hope you've enjoyed the episode guys um, like I said a bit strange but we've overcome it and there's been no real damage done so yeah don't forget guys if you are enjoying what you're watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more great content and I will see you all in the next one bye for now